I'm telling you, if one more of these kids come in here today complaining of a stomach ache, I am not calling their parents. I am not. Mm. What we need to have is a therapist for them to see. Instead of coming to the school nurse and bugging their parents when their parents are at work, saying, come get your kid, they're spiraling. Don't get me wrong. I'm sympathetic. I'm sympathetic. But you know, it's a lot sometimes. A lot. Oh. Hi. Have you been waiting a while? Hope not. Hmm. You didn't hear. Okay. Just check. You okay? I don't see you bleeding. I don't see any bumps, cuts, bruises, nothing like that. Why are you here? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> oh, all right. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what had happened. Okay. Don't know why the first half of that was relevant, but I'm sure you had a good reason to tell me. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not being rude. No, no. <laughs> I'm. Just, I can help. I can help you. It's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> well, I do have to take note of you being here, so I'm just gonna. Drop my pen. And then jot this down. Yeah, we have to write it all on an iPad because, you know, they won't give us covers for the thermometers, but oh boy, do they have money to get us new iPads. Why do we need an iPad in the nurse's office? Beyond me. But hey, we got one another way. Love that. Okay, so, no, no, I fill it out for you. We don't, we don't let y'all hold these. No, no, babes. All right, so let's see, what is your name? Okay, and whose class are you supposed to be in right now? Okay. All right. So, what we're going to do here is, I'm going to ask you some questions, you tell me, just, you know, yes or no, and then we go on, okay? Alright, so, did you wake up feeling bad today? Yes, alright. Now, did you throw up or have throw up but from the other way within 24 hours no okay okay yeah yeah that's okay that's okay you know if there's still something wrong we'll call your call your mom call your dad call whoever can come pick you up you don't have to worry about that okay all right okay when was the last time you went to a doctor when was the last time somebody went and took your height, your weight, your temperature, your blood, blood pressure, you know, where they hook your arm up to that thing and then they squeeze it real tight and then let it go really slow while usually someone, you know, has a watch or stethoscope listens? Okay. All right. And did you go because you were sick or just because it was time to go? Okay. All right. Well, well, you already heard me say how we don't have any covers for the thermometers because, you know, the school police officers needed new cars this year. But, you know, I, I won't talk about that. I'm not supposed to talk about politics with the kids, so... 
had trouble with that before. And if anybody asks, I was the one who started the little leftist club here. Unofficial sponsor, of course. Unofficial sponsor, of course. I just have to also type this down because for some reason they don't know how to get the dot dang iPads to talk to the computers. But somehow it's supposed to be more efficient, but ha has me doing double the work when I'm supposed to be taking care of your precious, precious selves. I don't know. Alright, so just give me one moment here. And it was Ms. Oh, okay, no, mister. All right, yes, yes. Hey, you know, I mean, I should have really stopped assuming that all of our teachers here would be women because we got a lot of men teachers too and we need them, so. All right, got that sent off. Okay, so I know you mentioned you weren't feeling good and so I'm just going to come up here, I'm just going to touch, you know, top of your head. Okay. You know, most people are always warm, like right on the top of their head, because that's where we lose the most heat. So you actually want to check the ears. If the ears are cool to the touch, you're not running a fever. But if your ears are a little warm, mm, got to see how you feel in a moment. Okay. Well, not ice cold, but not a little, not hot, hot. Not a definite fever, but, you know. Let's see. Let's see what I got here for you. Hmm. Do you remember maybe spraining your ankle? Oh, a little sharp. You hear that? Ooh, that thing is sharp. Pokey, bro. Really bad. Yeah, whenever I pulled up your schedule, I saw you had gym today. I saw that you did have that field trip yesterday when you all were out outside. Did you fall or anything whenever you were in gym class? Or well, you mentioned that you felt bad yesterday. I mean, this morning when you woke up, so did anything happen yesterday on that field trip? Mm, okay. Hmm. So it wouldn't be this. Didn't sprain your ankle, didn't run and fall, hit your elbow, hit your shoulder, collarbone, neck, back of the knee, hip, coccyx, none of that. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, dang, all right, we can, we can move on now, we can move on. You don't have to be like that, no, 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 no. Now listen, you can answer my questions, and you can waste part of your class period here, and you don't have to go back yet, because I'm trying to help you, I'm trying to figure out what we can do to get you going home, okay? Same team, same team, right? No, no, you say you didn't fall. I don't see any cuts or bruises, but are you sure? You feeling feverish because you fell? Did you cut your finger? Heck, you got a paper cut that was particularly nasty. You put a little bit of put a bit of jelly on it, you know. Make your skin heal.
Isn't that that? No? Now I know you said you didn't fall, hit your head or anything, but I've seen how y'all play outside. It's a little rough. I know that recess wasn't too long ago. Okay. So I'm just going to do a quick little examination on you. Okay. I'm going to wear these gloves so that you can see real good where my hands are going to go. Okay. So you can watch it. Okay. Now, honey, I'm telling you right now. If you start throwing up, you're feeling dizzy, anything like that after you fell, we're going to have to call your mom, dad, granny, grandpa, whoever. Somebody's going to have to come get you and they're going to have to take you to the doctor. Because that's what we call a concussion. If you have a concussion, you can't be in class. All right. You can't be in class. You can't stay here. Uh-uh. Concussion's not the only C word that can get you out of class, if you know what I mean. Just kidding, we don't make jokes about that here. We don't do that, no, no. Mm -mm. We don't do that. All right, now, what I want you to do, right here, you look right at my nose, okay? Right here. All right, you don't stop looking at this, okay? You were able to focus, which is good. We want you to be able to focus, okay? Now, this is a little bit different. You're not going to stare. You're going to watch my fingers. You're going to follow them, okay? All right. I'm just going to follow my little fingers, okay? You sure you didn't fall today? This is not a time for jokes. I said, did you fall? Now fall in love with the lunch today. I had it too. It was great. We love. We love it. I fell in love with that pineapple upside down chocolate cake as well. You're not the only one who loves maraschino cherries, all right? No one asked you, Sherry. Mm-mm. We don't like her. She thinks that health food is better. I mean, I know I'm a nurse and all. Well, school nurse. I still went to nursing school, okay? <laughs> I'm not one of these um, volunteer people coming in because school districts can't pay enough money. I'm here because I don't know why I'm here. Hmm. I could be a travel nurse. I don't have to listen to y'all tell me about your stomach aches at all, huh? I don't have to do that. Oh, lost my hair today. Got it back. Excuse my hand. Hmm. Let me guess. <sighs> Nothing happened at all. Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. 
another one of you. Oh, yes, there are multiple. I know your mama said that you're special, but every one of y'all has a stomach ache, and you want to come up in here, and you want to say, call my mama, call my daddy, send me home. I don't want to be here. I don't want to learn. Clearly, you need to be here, because you haven't learned how to put on a good act. Okay? You can't bullshit a bullshitter. You kids today, you are able to have a mental health day. Back in my day, we had to get the thermometer, heat that son of a gun up right on the lamp. I had to stick it back in our mouth like it didn't taste like a hot penny off of the ground in the middle of the summer. You kidding me? You kidding me? I mean, yes, I know you're kidding me. You ain't winning an Oscar. No Grammy for your groans and your tummy aches. <laughs> no Tonys for your tummy aches. You just don't want me to call your mom, don't you? That. Grandma and Grandpa, I'll call anybody if it gets you out of here, because I'm ready to go home, too. Heck, I might quit. You know how much a travel nurse makes? Dang. Hmm. What time is it? It's just, just early enough, I might be able to slip out. I'm telling you right now, if nobody comes and gets you within the next half hour, I am leaving you in the library or something, because I'm not dealing with this anymore. Mm, I'm not, no. Uh -uh. What do you mean this is an inappropriate conversation we have with a child? Your parents aren't frank with you ever? Ooh. I will tell you this right now, kid. That world, she can be a cruel, cruel mistress. But if you scratch her back just right, she'll scratch yours and, um... I can tell just by looking at you. You have not gone to the Swedish School of Massage yet in the area of life, that's for sure. No, 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 no. You know what? I think I go tell you the principal what he can do with these dirty, dirty gloves.